Jim Roth has called this a once in a lifetime senior class and I'm sitting with four reasons why. We have four seniors all committed to Big Ten schools. Julian Fleming, Gage Garcia, Cal Halliday and Preston Zachman. And Julian, we'll start with you since you were the first to commit to Ohio State back in May. Recently, ESPN actually moved you up to the number one recruit in the country by their ranking system. What has this roller coaster been like? Because on the field, you've been consistent. Off the field, I'm sure it hasn't been. Oh, uh, yeah. Recruiting in itself is uh, it's a whole different animal. And a lot of people, uh, they want to tell you all the luxuries and how great it is, how amazing it is. But, you know, it really is a blessing and a curse at the same time. You know, there's a lot of things that go into it. And there's a lot of people who, uh, you know, try to contribute to it. But, you know, it was it, it did come down to being a good thing for me and a great thing for my family as well. No, a month later, Gage, you commit to Michigan. This is one of your best friends here. How'd you break the news to Julian? I call him like right away. I'm like, Julian, uh, I think I'm committing to Michigan. He's like, well, congrats, buddy, but I don't like you anymore. So, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he was like one of the first people I called actually. So, I said, good luck, team up north, <laughs> and then I said we can no longer be friends. So. Well, that's interesting because you guys have been teammates and friends your whole lives. How are you going to embrace becoming rivals now? Well, we're going to win. So it's, it, at this point, it really is that, isn't that much of a rivalry, 10-0 the past 10 seasons. So, I mean, you, you, see, how, you see how it's gone so far. But, you know, we'll, we'll embrace it. Gage, you got something to say about that? No comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> this year could be a different year. I don't think so, but we can see. Welcome back to Halftime. We're here with Andrew Kettle, the Coaches versus Cancer of NEPA Chairman. Now, you've had a lot of keynote speakers over the years, from King Rice to Mike Bray to Jim Beheim. Who stands out to you as someone who's really made an impact in this fight against cancer? Well, you know, all those guys are, are in the fight, and, and they all do a tremendous job. Um, Coach Bray was our first guest, um, especially big-name guest here um, at our first gala, and I remember him saying that we have to trap and attack cancer like we do with the full court press. Um, so that was one of the things that stuck out in my mind with Coach Bray, and he, and he was a, a great time, and he really enjoyed Scranton. We've been very fortunate to have incredible um, coaches from the highest level in college basketball come to our area and support a high school campaign. You won the champion award at the Final Four a couple of years ago. I know you humbly share that award with the entire local community here, but for this particular chapter of Coaches vs. Cancer to get national recognition and continue to get national recognition, how important and meaningful is that to you? It's very meaningful um, and it's very important for um, really all the high schools in our country um, to really look up to Northeast Pennsylvania and, and District 2 to see what we're doing without a college division one team in our backyard. And welcome to Meet the Rail Riders here from beautiful PNC Field. And inside it is a busy, hectic scene as fans from all over the area are here to meet the Rail Riders and so will you at home. Jim Coles is gonna join us in just a few minutes, but right now I'm Landon Stoller. Join with your manager, Mr. Al Padrique. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And Al, this time last year, we were kind of introducing you to the fans around this area. <laughs> they didn't know who you were. This time around, you're the guy who just brought them a championship. How different is the feeling this year compared to last for you? Well, last year, I guess I was a little shy. First time <laughs> in Scranton. Uh, I managed in AAA before, but uh, first time in Scranton, meeting the fans, kind of giving them the chance to know me, where I came from. And now this year, the, the feeling is different. Uh, we won the championship last year, had a great year, uh, great fan support, so now I'm more relaxed, comfortable around them, talk about the championship. So I'm, I'm very happy to be back. Got a lot of new players, but a lot of guys returning as well. For those yeah. returning players, how can winning a championship help them this time around in terms of their development? Well, it, it helps to the fact where, you know, they, they have the experience, they know what it, uh, what it takes uh, to go that far and be involved in the playoff and win the championship. And now with the young players, first time in AAA, I'm sure that the combination of youth we're experienced players, it's going to help us a lot like it happened last year. Last year we had the same uh, uh, combination, young players and, and older guys that help the guys, the young players, how to get ready day in and day out. And I feel like this year is going to be basically the same thing. Uh, great uh, chemistry, uh, teamwork. We got a lot of young players that are excited to watch, and I'm sure they're looking forward to the opening day uh, on Thursday. That being said, some of the household names were Aaron Judge and Gary Sanchez, yeah. Tyler Austin. They're not here. So, so in what ways is this team going to look different than last year's? Well, they're going to be missed. I mean, anytime you get so close, you know, with the players, uh, you build a relationship uh, around the clubhouse. When you travel, you know, it's amazing how last year a lot of the guys hung around together, went out and got something to eat, talk about the game. This year, I think it's going to be the same.